Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round improper fractions to the nearest whole number. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have nine fourths. And the first thing we want to do with these improper fractions is convert them to mixed numbers. And we do that by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So how many whole groups of four can we pull out of nine? Well, two. That gets us to eight, so we have a remainder of one, and we keep this denominator of four the same. So we get to two and one fourth. Now that we have that mixed number, it's much easier to round to the nearest whole number. So the most important part of this video is right here, our hint. So if the fractional part of our mixed number is greater or equal to a half, then we round up. If it's less than a half, then we stay the same as far as the whole number portion goes. So we need to see if two and one fourth is closer to two, rounds to two, or if it's closer to three, so rounds to three. So let's take a look at our fractional part here, and we need to determine if one fourth is greater or equal to a half, or if it's less than a half. So two fourths is half, and we only have one fourth. So this is less than a half, therefore we stay the same as far as this whole number goes. So two and a fourth rounds to two. Now this symbol here stands for close to or approximately, and we can use it when rounding, it's helpful when rounding, because we don't wanna use an equal sign, because two and one fourth is not equal to two, it's close to or rounds to two. So let's move to number two, where we have 37 tenths. So first thing we do, convert to a mixed number. So we divide 37 divided by 10. How many whole groups of 10 out of 37? Well, three, that gets us to 30. So we have seven left over and we keep our denominator of 10 the same. So now we're ready to round. So is three and seven tenths closer to three or is it closer to four? Let's take a look at our fractional part here. Seven tenths, well, we know five tenths is half, so seven tenths is greater than half, therefore we round up. Three and seven tenths rounds to four. It's closer to four than it is to three. On to number three, we have 18 sevenths. So let's convert to a mixed number and divide. How many whole groups of seven out of 18? Well, two, that gets us to 14. So we have four left over, keep the denominator of seven the same. So two and four sevenths. So let's see, three and a half is half of seven. So this four is a little more than half. So we do round up. So two and four sevenths rounds to three. And lastly, number four, we have 21 fifths. So let's convert to a mixed number. How many whole groups of five out of 21? Well, four. And we have one left over because five groups of, I'm sorry, four groups of five gets us to 20. We have a remainder of one, keep the denominator the same. And now we're ready to round. So one fifth, we need to determine, is that greater or equal to a half or less? Well, half of five is two and a half. So this one is less than half, and we stay the same at four. So there you have it. There's how you round improper fractions to the nearest whole number. Convert to a mixed number, and then take a look at that fractional part of the mixed number. Greater or equal to a half, round up. If it's less than a half, then keep that whole number the same. Now, if you need a little more help with converting improper fractions to mixed numbers, I have a separate video on that. I dropped that link down in the description. I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.